is End Screen Noise. My name is Colin Dixon, founder and chief analyst at End Screen Media, and today is April 25th, 2014. Content providers have been very aggressive in pursuing YouTube to make sure that their proprietary shows, clips from them, are taken down from the site. Well, news this week that Fremantle is taking quite a different course. Uh, Fremantle is working with Broadband TV, a company that specializes in helping companies like Fremantle, rather than remove that content to find clips of their shows and to monetize them right there in place. And that is precisely what Fremantle wants to do. They want to find the clips of their shows like American Idol, X Factor, and America's Got Talent, and fight, they want to find those clips and advertise them against, advertise against them. So uh, this is a pretty different strategy than we've seen in the past. And Olivier Del Vos, who is the Fremantle Senior v Vice President of Digital, said, and I quote, it's like flipping a switch to an immediate expansion of our business. Uh, boy, that's a very refreshing approach from a mainstream media provider. Um, he went on actually to say that he views cl uh, clips being uploaded by fans of the show as precisely that, an expression of their fandom, of their interest in that show. And uh, adding them to their advertising stable just uh, makes a lot of sense for the company. Let's hope that other companies take a similar approach going forward. Now, Amazon's deal with HBO turned a lot of heads this week, and uh, and I'm afraid it is bad news for those people that were hoping that they would be able to subscribe to HBO Go directly online. I think Amazon is, uh, rather HBO is stating very clearly that it will not be allowing that, that it will allow others to monetize its older library. Uh, now, if you were hoping that you'd be able to watch past seasons of Game of Thrones on Amazon, that isn't going to happen, at least not for a couple of years, because no content younger than three years is going to be allowed up on the site. So you have to wonder how valuable is this deal really? After all, everybody that wanted to see The Sopranos surely has already seen it by now. And I think this deal really highlights the big difference between Amazon's content strategy and Netflix. Amazon seems to be taking a quite a haphazard approach to getting content for their site. They're looking to sort of grab um, high value content from just about all over the place uh, without any specific theme, while Netflix has a very, very clear direction. They're aiming for HBO's model online. They are creating original content, original high value content for dramas and for comedy, and they're looking to license the same. So a big difference between the two companies, I think, uh, in their content strategy. And those hoping to get HBO online direct without a pay TV subscription, well, maybe they'll get their wish in the end. It's just that it won't be HBO at all. It'll be Netflix. Now, if you want to know a lot more about companies like Netflix, how they're doing in the market, you should come to the Endscreen Media website and go to the trackers section. There you will find current information on companies like Netflix and Comcast and also the US streaming media industry. You can get find out exactly what's going on in those markets and you'll see other areas go up in the weeks to come. So that's in the trackers area on the Endscreen Media website. And that's it this week from Endscreen Noise. You'll see us again next time.